That would be the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. This is the wild card of the bunch. This, I think it is. I think it is. Greg Schiano is doing some pretty outstanding stuff here. Uh, win total sits at four for them. Minus 115 is juiced up or down, one or the other. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty crazy schedule. They've got some very winnable games. Oh, yeah. Um, but a lot of losable games, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. just a ton. No, it's uh, a wild all, card team. Yeah. Oh, they 100%. could get beat by Delaware, and they could beat Michigan. All 11 starters come back for offensive coordinator Sean Gleason, uh, quarterback Noah Vidral. Um, I mean, they. this is an offense that, that ranked bottom 10 in almost every category in 2019, but they improved every stat last year. That's like, right. they really improved. Defense, uh, they made, you know, I guess bigger statistical gains in 2020, and, and they were the third most improved defense in the Big Ten last year. Uh, they're they're making moves. I mean, they, they're they going from a 4-3 to a 3-3-5. And, you know, again, it's like we talked about in Michigan, that's to keep up with the RPO, stuff like that. Uh, the D brought in, like, a bunch of transfers. They should improve more this coming season. They're still not quite there yet. No. But, you know, uh, win total, again, sits at four. And, and I look at it, and I think that they can get to at least five. Like, I, I think they could it, – it's not easy. It's not going to be easy. None of them is going to be easy. But do I trust Greg Schiano to be able to get this done? I think yeah. he can absolutely. I think. I think he can get to four, and I certainly think he can get to five. I'm going over. Um, would it surprise here. me to see him go three and nine? No, it would. But, that actually would surprise me because I trust Schiano. I really think he's that good of a coach, and you I, know that. I think that they could win their first three games, and they could lose. Do you realize everything else? How strong of an improvement they were. 2020 COVID year. The only difference in that team from the 2019 trash fire was Shiano took over. Yeah. He didn't get to recruit. He didn't get to spend any time with his kids. Just when he got on the sidelines, he took the same trash that was there in 2019 and made them better. Yeah, they were 2-10 and 10 in 2019. They went 3-6 and six last year. And all the hang on, games they lost. That Michigan game, they lost oh, that they game. they were in them. They were in these games. Yeah. And they're running crazy-ass plays. They're doing things that you – but that's what you have to do when you're an underdog. This is what Kansas should be doing. Yes. This is what these small schools, these bad schools should be doing in these big conferences. You play the game straight up, you are going to lose. But if, if you bring havoc and chaos, you have a chance. You have a chance to win. Yes, you do. I think Shiano's going to upset one of these teams. It wouldn't surprise me if he did it to one of the ranked teams. Because he we- shows up big in big spots. And I like, I like Sean Gleason. So, uh, we're both going over, yeah. right? And, and once again, they could absolutely lose to one of these bad teams. Yes, absolutely. That wouldn't surprise it's going to be a wild all. card, but I, I, we both trust Shiano. I, so. I like Shiano. Let- Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.